presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either well, up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night and a great week, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Manifest your true intentions. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will be manifested through the word. What you dream, what you say, and what you feel each and every day will be manifested through the word. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up 158. We get NASDAQ up 146. S&P's up 33. Gold, gold contract up a buck 80, trading at 17.73 an ounce. We get silver down 24 cents, 21 dollars 64 cents an ounce. Late sweet crude. Up 26 cents, seventy dollars ninety nine cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten year note down six ticks, trading one thirty fourteen. The thirty year down seventeen ticks at one sixty one twenty two. And King Dollar, King Dollar is uh, down ninety six ticks, trading ninety six four seventy eight. The euro is at one twelve. The yen is at one fourteen, and the British pound is at one thirty two to one U S dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you got? Well, bottom line, you can, you can absolutely see that the market is not worried about what the Fed's going to do. Uh, bottom line is that we take a look at the uh, futures first. The futures are 62 points off the low, folks, okay? Uh, that is a move. Uh, you know, and this, is, uh, this gets interesting, man. So yesterday, we, went, we came down from 46.76 to 45.96. Today, you made it to 4602, and right now, we are 10 points away from the high of yesterday. This is bottom line. My take, we're going after these highs again. The high we're talking about here is 47.35. We go take a look at the SPY. That was the S&P futures, the E-minis we're looking at. The SPY, what you're looking at here is that you have rejected lower price there at 460. We're at 467. The closing high is, uh, let's see. Yeah, the closing high looks like it's... Uh, 467. Look at this. 467.57. We're going after the high. And today, this would be really weird. Well, no, we've closed over that. But bottom line, the the top tick right now is 473.53. I expect we're going to go after it. That that's the bottom line. That's how that's how it's set up. NDX 100. We take a look at the three Qs. What do you have with the three Qs out here? Three Qs basically set up the exact same way. You I uh, went down yesterday. You had an expansion of volume. That being said, it was still coming into volume that had 105 million, and you only did 75. This morning, we went to the bottom of that, we rejected it. Bottom line, you're higher right now. We got down to 383. The Qs are 10 points higher than that right now at 392, and that's telling me that we're going after those highs also, which is the 408. Gold, gold contract, bottom line, wants higher price. When you see this, this is pretty cool, man. Um, so when you, when you take a look at this, uh, bottom line is that you have rejected lower price today at 1753 or at 1774 and you can see you get a beautiful hammer man and you're gonna have this is this is what's really cool about it you're gonna have a hammer and you're gonna have a rejection of lower price you went under the swing and it's gonna be lighter volume which is really great because that's really hard to do actually so the last swing low folks was 1762 
So we got down to 1753. That low that we're talking about at 1762 had volume of 173,000 contracts. Well, the bottom line, we're going to do like 150. So that's a nice setup. Now watch this, though. If you're watching Tiger TV, this is really cool. I'm going to take this, and then I'm going to put this on a weekly for the year. And what you're going to see here is this is, this is phenomenal, actually. I mean, I just, I just when, when Jay Powell was just ready to talk, I was looking at this. So look what you have, man. If, if you are a council charting person, candlestick charting person, you're going to be all over this, man. You, you have a hammer that was established on the 2nd of April. Okay, that's when gold went to 1686, then it rejected the lower price, then it goes all the way up to uh, 1922. Then what, what do we do? We, we come down, we get crushed, and one week we went from 1783 to 1680, and if you're in the market then, that was another Fed deal, bottom line, it rejected it, you closed at the high, and that's exactly what's going to happen now. So what does it give us? Well, would, and now I go back to the daily. What you're going to see here is that this, you know, bottom line is that you're in an uptrend, man. We have three lower highs and two higher highs. We're going topside, man. This is this is going to we're going to have some fun here. Um, we'll see how it shakes out. My take is that we're going to have some fun because we know that we uh, this is a index. Yeah, this is a forward march particularly for a few months and you can see the dollar and that it was all about the dollar man the dollar went up you gotta love markets man it blows it blows my mind on a continual basis that they can test these numbers man so it missed the high the dollar missed the high today by 40 ticks uh, let's see the highs for 96 435 um, we hit 96 Oh, it's even, no, it's, we went above it and rejected it. It's even better. Okay. So we went to 96,906, rejected it. Bottom line, you're at 96,473. What does that say? Bottom line, we're going back downtown. Now, when you go back downtown on the dollar, I suspect we're going to go to the breakout area. You know, we'll see whether they can get below that. But the breakout area is game. The breakout area is 94,561. Um, so pretty cool uh, how this whole thing is shaking out. Uh, the time of the year we're on, we only got, it's December 15th, folks. The bottom line is you have this week of trade and you get next week of trade. And, and you know, the bottom line is that um, you'll have some tax selling, not a lot. I mean, this market still wants to run and test that, that higher level. Um, and you know, I haven't had time to go through the, you know, because Powell's speaking right now. Uh, but the bottom line is that you can, you can actually look at the note and bond market and you can see that nothing has actually changed, okay? If we turn around and we put the, um, the note market up, the 10-year note right now is, is down nine ticks, okay? Uh, this still wants higher price. <laughs> yeah, higher price. How about that? And we have the 10-year right now yielding 1.47. 877 Give us a call, folks. Dow. Dow Industrials right now are up uh, 201. Nasdaq's up 177. S&Ps are up 40. Hey, why not go up 60, man? You know? Come, come right back, folks. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, and I didn't, I didn't think that I would, you know, when, I, when we went to break, so our breaks are three minutes, folks. We went to break, the S&Ps were up 40, and I said, well, why not go to 60? Well, the bottom line, it just went from 40 to 54. So you get the Dow up right now, uh, 291, NASDAQ's up 237, S&Ps are up 52. We get gold up $5. You can see the dollar's giving it up more. The dollar is down uh, 162. Uh, some of the higher volume equities, let's go take a look and see what we have out here in the higher volume equities. You have uh, Apple, that's the, that's the number, it's up 460. You get Pfizer up $3. You get Nvidia up $16. Uh, RoboX is down 11. We have uh, Tesla up, up 11. So let's go over to Apple and take a look at Apple. Uh, so Apple right now, how close is it to 3 trillion? Look at this. At this price here, Tommy had the price, so it must be 180 something. Uh, it's, it's right now, it is running at 2.938. Uh, $2.938 two, $2 trillion. That, that is something else, man. Uh, if we take a look at this. Okay, so it's going to test the size, man. You get a rejection of lower price, and yeah, we'll see where, the, we'll see where those highs go. Um, we go take a look at, uh, let's go take a look at a few of the banks out here, because you, the, you get J.P. Morgan. Yeah, they're not moving. Okay, let me do this. Okay, so watch this, folks. We've got to do it this way. I want to see how this is closing in, meaning the note and bond market. So the 10 years at 1.47, the 30 is at 1.87. Uh, that's so that's still that's that's that curve is flattening, folks. That's what's happening. Oh, cool. Thanks, Tommy. So it's at 182 dollars and 86 cents, folks. If the if Apple gets to that point, bottom line is that that is a treat. Three trillion dollar company. Um, the let's see, view Nike. Okay, so let's let's view Nike and key and ke and see what's going on with Nike. Okay, so Nike. Next time they come out with numbers is twelve twenty. The lows one twenty five. The highs one seventy nine. Did they pick dividend? Let me see what they got there. Yeah. They're, they're, that's a nice dividend, man. For a stock, look at this. This is interesting, man. For a stock that has been on, f oh, no, look at that, wrong one. I was gonna say, for a stock that's on fire, couldn't believe it was paying, it was, that was a realty company I brought up. Somehow that gets in, yeah, that makes more sense, okay. Nike pays six tenths, of, uh, seven tenths of one percent. I, I thought four and a half percent was gonna be way too much. <laughs> okay, so, well, Nike's just rejected lower price out here. 
It's done it today. It has light volume. Uh, what I don't like about Nike big time is none of these highs have volume. You know, when you, when you get highs that don't have volume and, you know, the only time you get volume is on the either sideways or on the way down, it's not, it's not great. But it looks to me like it's already rejected lower price. When you reject lower price, what you do is you go find the highest bar with volume, and that tells me we're at 164. It's going to go to 167.53. That's how I shake that out. So we'll see. We'll see where this whole baby goes out. And, you know, one of the tigers in there, uh, and I, listen, man, I don't blame you. If you shot the market here on this, I, I get it. When I was saying, yeah, they're going to the highs, it's pretty cool. But my, my take was that we're always going to the highs anyway. But let me tell you something about the Fed, okay, because it, it, I, I know how this is when you shot the market and the Fed put just keeps coming in, which it does, okay. When you're in the probability business, you better understand that the Fed is there to make sure the market doesn't crash either. They're not, they're not going to just pull, take this and rip this thing out. They can't. That's the bottom line. Um, so this is going to be a, a longer process than people think. And, you know, we've talked about this before. My take is that we are never, ever actually going back to um, them doing something fast and furious. And the reason is that the amount of assets that are in the financial market are extraordinary. So it's going to be the matter of, you know, how much they can stomach going forward when the market basically gets highly volatile and, and goes to lower price. And that's, that's, that's a reality. And it's a monster reality because of the fact that the debt structures uh, are even larger now. So... You know, the bottom of the market, the market's talking. I mean, look at this thing. <laughs> oh, man, I'm unbelievable. So let's go take a look at the, Let me go take a look at the steel market, U.S. steel first, because wait, wait to hear this. Um, so U.S. steel. OK, U.S. steel. Bottom line, rejected lower price today. Nothing big, but that's telling me that wants higher price. Listen to this. OK, so we, we talk, um, you know, inflation numbers, right? Anecdotally, okay, this is this is pretty cool how this works out. So, w what has happened, folks, is that depending on how long you've been listening, I bring a lot of stuff in from China, whether it's fencing, you know, light steel, all this stuff. Okay, so I have a lot of stuff over there right now because the container price went up so dramatically. Okay, so <laughs> wait to hear this, man. This is like sick. Inflation's not going away, man. It, that, that's the real bottom line. Once you hear the story, because I thought I was seeing things this morning. I'll get you the. Let me. I got to get you the exact price because this this is like wild. Okay, so so we we were checking on prices this morning, right? And the containers we bring in, I bring in forty foot high tops, and I keep the. I buy the container, but now this is not even buying the container. So the last time that I was pricing this out. It was 14500 Now, think about this. This is what you have to, well, let's start with what it actually used to be. It used to be $1,750 to bring a container from Shanghai to Tampa, Florida. Okay? I would pay normally about 3500 but then I own the container, and then I use the containers. Okay? Four months ago, the container price was 14500 This morning, okay, this is like crazy. 19,500, okay? So this is not getting better, man. So, you know, we have longer to go. I mean, the stuff's going to stay there because it doesn't make any sense, you know? But what, what that means is that prices are going to continue to go up because you only can get to a certain point, then you're going to have to order more. That, I mean, that's, that's a reality. So that is not what I was expecting, I can tell you that. <laughs> I mean, that, that's, that's crazy. And so, picture, yeah, I mean, that's, I don't know, it's, it's, that is one huge number. There's no doubt about it. 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at that. That's good. That gold's going to run good because the dollar's going the other way. And we're going to have to, it's all, what happens here is this, okay, um, that the, in the dollar's case, what I'm looking for is, that what I'm looking for 
um, is follow through to the downside. That's the reality. And that, that downside meaning 95, uh, 517 first, and then all the way to the breakout area, which is the 94, 500 mark. Um, and as to, uh, I had a question about, uh, well, what, what do you do about finishing the houses? I, I always have, I'm, I'm always ahead of myself, folks, by about eight months to nine months. And thank God I was. <laughs> yeah. So I have plenty of stuff. I'm building five houses right now. I got plenty of stuff for all that. But, you know, I'm going to be building more houses. So, you know. Dow, Dow Industrials right now uh, up 308, Nasdaq's up 241, S&P's up 55. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is right now up at 356. We get the NASDAQ up 268. S&Ps are 51, 61. And let's go take a look at this because it's probably, we still got, what, you get a half hour, man. I mean, <laughs> Oh, man, this is something else. Okay, so let's take a look at it. So it's just a straight line move. It hasn't even basically... Oh, this is a good way we can do it. Okay, you, you, so you had the ABC up. Let me see what that was. That's 46.50. Well, okay, so that's uh, 48 A to B, 58.68. 72. So we're already done it. It's uh, 46.72. 
was the A to B, and you can see it took out the B point with volume. And we had one of those yesterday too, man. So intraday, if you're trading intraday, stop paying attention to this stuff, man, because uh, if, we, if we keep getting, let me see if the NQs, I'm sure the NQs did it too. Uh, NQ, 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 H. So it's that. Do those intraday. Let's see what we got. Yep. Okay, so that did it too. So 16,006. So you got two, oh my God, 266 is the number, A to B, which is, uh, okay, so that's 16,000. What did I say? 266. I said 266, right? Okay, so that's uh, 167. Yeah, 16,167. So in both cases, uh, bottom line, you, you did your ABC structure on the way up. Now that's, that's the bottom line. So, and now the, so what, what you have here is also this, folks, okay? Let, calendar wise, let's look at this. Calendar wise, you have the end of this week. We're already in Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. If you get a market like this, you're going to get some follow through. The, the dollar is continuing lower. You'll get follow through tomorrow. Friday will be, you know, a, a Friday that, you know, I don't expect that you're going to basically pull back. Because when you get a positive week going, it's very hard to pull back on a Friday anyway. Then, what are we doing? Let me just make sure of this. I think we come, I think this is, uh, that's just, yeah, then the next week, okay, is Christmas Eve. So the bottom line is that you're going to come in, um, I believe on Christmas Eve, we close at 12. Market closes at 12. That means that even on Thursday, it's going to be slow. And then the next week is uh, New Year's. Now, we have a full week New Year's, but that's, that's, that's saying that this, your probability is much higher um, that you're going to continue higher. That's, that's, that's how this thing is set up. And, you know, and, and let's go over to Lowe's because we had, I, the Lowe's came out with their numbers this morning. They, would, they, were, they were great numbers. Um, but they also said that, hey, man, they can't keep this up. So Lowe's traded down at 249. They had rejected a lower price. Now it's at 257. Home Depot probably did the exact same thing. Well, the, the, the differential here is pretty intense because if you listen to Tommy's show this morning, he was explaining that how many times that they actually were over, you know, in the last, you know, six quarters that they're supposed to come in with not one number. The number was 10% over, 14% over. 20% over. I mean, it was that dramatic, okay? Uh, so you can expect that. I mean, how, when you start compounding numbers like that, it's unbelievable. So what Lowe's does expect next year is that they expect uh, the sales to be $94 billion to $97 billion. This is what we're talking about ending January 2023. That's shot of the $97.9 billion that the average annual estimate is, is, is saying that they're going to do. Um, the company sees compatible sales in the range of down 3% to flat. Now, you know what's going to get really intriguing here, folks, is this, is that what you're going to start hearing about. This, see, you know, what a cycle, man. You know, uh, meaning the sad part is that the beginning of this cycle that I'm going to talk about is probably, you know, in the 1970s and we're 2022 right now. But what's really cool, and because when you, now I was certainly not as knowledgeable inside the market in 1970, okay? That's for sure that, you know, after so many years, you better get smarter um, when you're doing something. But what, what we're going to see now is this. Inflation does two different things. And what's going to be really intriguing is that you're going to hear, I guarantee you're going to hear people at, you know, whether it's cocktail party or anything else saying, okay, hey, that company, you know, last year they took in 20 million. This year they took in 25 million. Well, what you're going to start seeing and what absolutely is on the table, and Tommy talked about this this morning, is the aspect of, like, uh, let's just do lows. Well, the bottom line is that the, the prices can go up, so we're going to be dealing with higher dollar amounts across the board. So it's going to be really intriguing to see what the market does with that. You know, So at the beginning, and when I say with the market, the market is collectively all of us, folks. So at the beginning of this, it's going to be like, okay, so if people see 
higher gross numbers, okay? You know, because th those, those gross numbers, you know, what we're bringing up, that's what you look at the market, right? Well, we're going to have higher gross numbers in a big way because everything is just going to be higher. So at the beginning of that, it's going to be intriguing to see, okay, are they buying that also? We'll find out. I'm bringing it up because I, you definitely want to watch it because that doesn't, you know. And as I said earlier, is that what does happen at the beginning, and we'll see how many quarters this comes down, okay, um, is will their price profits go up also? And I think at the beginning they actually will, you know. That's, um, and then, then, it, then it catches up with everyone. That's the real bottom line. Um, when I got that number this morning, uh, that's telling me that uh, these numbers are still going to be inflated for a few years. This is, this is, this is definitely not going away, um, you know, in like a couple of years. That's not how it works, you know. And what, what I'd love you to do, uh, even, you know, for everyone that's in the, the Tiger's Den, the, the YouTube Den, I mean, just... You know, the bottom line, have you been paying more for things? And that, that you have to trust yourself on this whole deal because you can see that the, the Fed, the administration, everyone keeps talking about now we're at 3%. Like 3%, what are you, crazy, man? I mean, it, yeah, it might be 3%, but guess what? It's stuff you're not, not using. That's the same thing. It's not your food, not your shelter. You know, it's not your rent. Um, those things are up, like, exponentially. And I, what I expect we're going to see is that you'll see it a couple years and that's where hard assets come in in a big way. And then, yeah, then they'll, they'll have to quash it because, um, you know, it makes a difference. And if, you know, what is, what is going to happen, uh, there's no doubt, is that you, what you are going to see is that you're going to see these kickers um, come in, um, meaning inflation kickers that are inside, inside Social Security, inside... Uh, Contracts, labor contracts, uh, th these are things that we've never dealt with, you know, in the last 50 years. But these are going to start kicking in right now. And, and in fact, uh, you know, if, if you have, I, I happen to know this because uh, Bridget's father, he was so smart. He had an inflation kicker inside his long-term his long -term care. And do you know what that did? did it, so picture this. You can see why GE and uh, whatever company they had there, they had to spin off and lose so much money because... He had to pay for it, and we, it, was, it was expensive, me, me, per month, but it doubled the policy. Doubled the policy. Stay right there, folks, and come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials are up 347. Let's go inside the Dow Industrials and see... Uh, what is moving out here? So uh, inside the Dow, it looks like uh, point-wise here, we have uh, United Health putting 85 positive points, Microsoft 35, uh, Amgen 35, Home Depot 29. Taken away from it, you have Nike uh, minus 10, JP Morgan 6, IBM 5. Inside the uh, NDX 100, we take a look at the NDX 100. You have... Uh, AMD is up uh, 7%. Look at that, 7%. Oh, my God. You got CrowdStrike up 6%. NVIDIA is up 6%. INCY is up 4.5%. Taken away from it is JD.com's down 5 Pindo Odoo is off 4 You got uh, Trip.com off 276 And NetEase is off 2 all, all those ones that are down, folks, are all Chinese stocks. Uh, and uh, overnight, uh, here, let me bring this up for you so you can see this because let me see if I can get the one we're looking at. So overnight, folks, okay, you, you haven't heard a lot about Evergrande because the, you know, the bottom line is that the, between them defaulting and the amount of propaganda that's out there, um, we'll see whether other equities are going to basically fail because of Evergrande. Um, what you have is that Last night, let me get this now. Last night, CSI, yes, Shanghai. Last night, uh, one of the uh, real estate companies, folks. Okay, this is like crazy. One of them, they that their bonds were going for ninety cents on the dollar, and when you're at ninety cents on the dollar, you know when you have a far out payment, that's kind of normal. Ninety, ninety four cents. Okay, I mean that that's how it shakes out. Um, and what ended up happening is that this company didn't default. Uh, but what the market had figured out is that the bottom line is that they were going to have a problem coming up with bread. And that was the last thing that the market was thinking of because of the fact if, if this developer can't come up with the money, uh, you're going to see a lot more problems over there. And I suspect that, you know, the Chinese are going to be very on top of this. But what, what I've seen um, in the marketplace, in the amount of years that I've been in the marketplace, if the market doesn't get what it needs right away, the market is vicious, man. And I suspect there's going to be a lot more problems over there. There's going to be a lot of problems with anyone that's invested in, in the bonds. And what happens is that you, you got to remember how the, the, the real estate market goes. All you need, well, here, let's talk about this. All you need is a couple real jerks that basically either did something fraudulently or way over their head. And in this case, I would say way over their head is Evergrande and probably a lot more of them. So what ends up happening is this. When they get in trouble, even if you were running a good... So let's say we get a couple over here that, you know, over the head, it, it went out too much. Well, what ends up happening, especially in the real estate market, 
is that that's going to drag everything else down. Because the, what, what you saw happen in 2007, that wouldn't have never happened if, in fact, you know, there wasn't as much fraud in, inside the marketplace. There wasn't as much. And that's, that's, that's including the broker-dealer community, folks, okay, that was pushing all that paper out. Because the banks were pushing the paper out. They could care less. They were just pushing it out, hoping that, hey, man, let's go. Uh, so my point is, is this, is that in their market, they have much more control of it. There's no doubt about that. But they've never faced something like this. Um, you know, I've seen four of them. You know, the first one I saw I wasn't involved in at all. It was in 1974. And they were smaller numbers, but percentage-wise, they, they, you know, they were pretty intense if you were in them. Um, so I suspect there's going to be a lot more trouble over there, and we'll see how that shakes out for all the markets in general, uh, who ends up getting hit, you know. Uh, so... We go take a look at the. Uh, let's go see where Amazon's at out here. So Amazon right now. Look at that. That rejected lower price. All right, rejected 3303, and it's up 140 bucks from them. Um, so this consolidation's still on on Amazon. I mean, Amazon's been consolidating out there for a long period of time. Uh, let's go take a look at Microsoft. The Microsoft deal. You know, I would have a really hard time. You know. My take is that, well, my take is still that we're going to be in a monster consolidation. Yeah, it wants to hit the highs first, but that's where we're going with this. Um, that being said, Microsoft, you know, I, I wouldn't be out there buying Microsoft, I can tell you that. Not when the CEO sells 50% of his position. That is, like, insane. Uh, that just seems to me, like, just unbelievable. Um, the, there's a question out there. Let's pull this up, because when this gets delisted, I've been... I've seen this before. Okay, so so picture here, you got Diddy Global, right? So what ends up happening? The lows five dollars, the highs eighteen. Let me just see what happens in here. Let's see what they do. Okay, so they take a hundred. They, they're still losing money upside down. So the the question is, what happens if it gets delisted in the United States? Uh, the bottom line is that you can get delisted. And then you are stuck and trapped like rats because when you're, you have to separate the issue of owning an equity. So you own the equity, right? The, what we're talking about here is that when you get delisted, well, you get delisted off an exchange. That has nothing to do with the equity that you have. And so you're trapped. And what would end up happening is that, let's see how many places they're listed. Let me see if I can get this. Issue information. Let's see. What's going to happen is that their, their, their prime, well, this one's interesting because their primary exchange is New York. Um, more than likely, they'll, they'll well, let's see, is Diddy and, more than likely, what will end up happening is that they're also in Shanghai, I suspect. The bottom line, you get the gist of it. You can get delisted. There's, there's plenty of stocks that, you know, the bottom line is that what happens is that they don't have enough finances to stay on the exchange. And when that happens, uh, yeah, they go on Hong Kong. Well, that's, you have to trade it in Hong Kong if you, you own it. That's, that's the bottom. That's how it works. That's, that's how it works. Um, so, yeah, I think the next thing that we're going to see out here is that you're, you're, going, to have, you're going to have the aspect of... Uh, China wants their stocks listed over there. That just means to me, China's going to start growing even slower. That's, you know, they got the taste of it, and the taste of it is a little too big, meaning the taste of freedom, the taste of, can you imagine, you know, uh, you know coming out of, uh, the, the folks that were in Hong Kong knew this was coming, okay? Uh, you know, if you're in the mainland, the bottom line is that you can imagine if you're an entrepreneur in the mainland, and then you get to list in the United States, man. I mean, that had to be just amazing. Because we have the most liquidity, folks. We have the most money, the most liquidity, uh, the most experience in structured capital finance. You know, so Dow. Dow right now is uh, up 271. NASDAQ's up 265. S&Ps are up 55. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials up 344. We get the Nasdaq up 300. Oh, my God. S&Ps are up 66, folks. The bottom lines are going to finish at the highs of the day. We'll get over. We take a look at the uh, ETF structures. We'll go to the SPY first. We'll take a look at the SPY. Look at this move, man. Oh, man. What a trip. <laughs> yeah, so we have, let's see. This might be the closing 468, closing... Okay, so you, you need, we need 71 cents to be an all-time closing high because the, the high tick closed at 467. The closing high, it goes back to only four days ago. Let's see, one, two, three. Yeah, it goes, goes back to last Friday. That was 470.90. You're at 470.08 uh, right now. We look at the NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX, the three Qs right now. Look at the wide price spread there, man. Unbelievable. So... 83.93. So the Qs went up $13 from the low. They're up 840 right now. Bottom line, this is going to go after the highs. It's, that's how this baby's set up. And, you know, the high inside the Qs is 408. You know, what we, what we could have, you could, you could, you could get, um, hey, well, I was going to say, you could, you could get a little sideways move out here tomorrow or the next day. This is building cause, though, to get up there. Uh, then there was, there was a question in the den. Um, do you think that the high is going to be broken this year i do because this i've been in this situation before and and i can tell you if we are right before january uh 
bottom, I mean, yeah, at the end of December, coming into it, they'll run it, man. You'll see, you'll see a run that you'll it'll just blow your mind, you know. Um, yeah, because when you get that close, everyone just sits around and says, okay, man, let's try to run this thing. Well, basically, we'll run it right up, right up to the, the highs. And that, that's what I expect you, you're going to see. Um, you can see this. They, they're, not, they're running this thing right now, man. I mean, pretty wild. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Thanks for joining us, folks. Come join Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off. Great show. <laughs> Look at him, folks.